Hello everybody, um, working on this Ford F-150 Power Wheels truck. Um, so in the past we had hooked this up to 24 volt, just, just regular batteries. Um, my kids have outgrown it, It's uh, my nephew is going to get it now. So we're going to convert it over to uh, um, this, using the DeWalt 20 volt battery, um, the uh, lithium batteries there. So. Um, here, here's what we have. I, I purchased some, some extra stuff to go along with this, uh, to make, make the conversion and, and keep it nice and tidy. So, um, anyways, up here in the top, just to go over this real quick before we get started, the battery and the adapter, um, to, to get the power out of the, out of the battery. Uh, we have a switch here, just an on-off switch that's, that's lit up, um, a low voltage cutoff, um, a, uh, 24 volt relay. Um, these are just a uh, terminal blocks or connector blocks to, to clean up the wiring. Uh, then I have an inline 30 amp fuse. Um, the uh, voltage controller for the for the motors themselves. Um, so we can vary that. Uh, you know that 20 volts we can vary. You know b between zero and 20 uh, theoretically. And then uh, I've got some some power wire that I'm going to be using. So, anyways, there's an overview of all the stuff that we're going to try to use. Um, not a whole lot of room in here, so I'm going to try to lay out where I want each of these components and make sure they all fit. Um, and then probably start on the wiring and uh, how to route everything. I don't quite know yet uh, how everything should be routed, but uh, what we're going to figure out. Okay, so I went ahead and. Uh, I, I just uh, have some duct tape and have each of these components kind of set in place um, where they kind of fit nicely um, under the hood here. So, um, so I've got the battery um, adapter here. Uh, so that should give me plenty of room um, to slide the battery in. <clears throat> Um, so we got the battery adapter here. I've got the little uh, terminal block kind of mounted up here. The speed controller, low voltage control. Um, I've got two relays here. One of the relays is going to be um, uh, following this low vo voltage controller. I don't know if I'll use the other one. I thought about using the other one. Um, so, so the power is going to, uh, the main power coming off the battery is going to go to this switch. Uh, which I think I'm gonna probably mount right up here and then it'll come back off of this switch um, and into the terminal block um, so I might actually I don't know if I need a re I, I need to do some more research but I might hook this switch to a relay um, that way when this you know when the switch kicks off it'll trip the relay which will cut the power I don't know if I need that. Um, I might try it without it first, but I went ahead and mocked it up. Um, two of them there. Um, again, the, the speed controller with the wires coming out. So uh, I just wanted to lay it out a little bit to see how it would look. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna start working on the wiring now um, and then see if this actually works out. Okay. Um, so I pulled everything back out. You know, earlier I had it all set in where I thought it would be. Um, I pulled it back out to, to kind of wire it up, make it a little easier and, and kind of test slash troubleshoot. Um, so real quick, what I have is the, the, the battery. Um, right now they're just tied into the switch with some wire nuts um, right over here. I'm gonna make that a hard connection here pretty soon, but I wanna test the switch too. So it's tied into the switch uh, with a hard connection and then from the switch, the power wire goes into the terminal block, um, feeds the terminal block here. So on the terminal block, I've got a, a connector. So these two are connected and then I've got a connector here um, that kind of powers both of these, powers this one actually off of this one. So um, um, anyways, the, so the switch, the negative comes here, feeds in, and I've got the same thing on this side, right? The negative wire is feeding this. Um, I've got a, a cross over here, so it um, the negative side also feeds here. So from there, um, they go through 
uh, have a relay down here. So really what's happening is the power's coming in um, through the switch, going into the terminal block. Um, at first, it goes over here to this low voltage cutoff um, to make sure that the voltage coming in stays at a certain um, limit. And then um, from there, it goes out and into the, um, the speed controller uh, for the wheels themselves. And then from the speed controller, it goes down and ties back in, sorry, I have it right here. Um, come out of the speed controller and ties back into this, just this little quick disconnect that I have um, that runs the entire, uh, th that runs the motor. So it goes back underneath um, and back to the motors. So, um, so I have my switch here. I, I've got my battery hooked up. So when I power on the switch, that's cool, uh, it works. I hear the relay kick on down here, um, which allows the power, um, sorry, so the, the power comes in, goes through here. This says, yes, you know, there's uh, the voltage is, is correct. It's high enough that we can run. Um, yeah, you can see that well. And then it, it tells the relay, okay, you know, you're okay to, to turn on and it allows the power to go through. Um, all the way to the switch. So just real quick, um, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll spin the wheels. So right now I've got the, uh, I'll turn this all the way down and I'll, I'll hit the uh, gas pedal in here. So I've got, I've got the gas pedal all the way down, so just creeping. Um, I'll turn this up a little bit and hit the gas pedal that's, that's all the way down all the way down so uh, everything seems to be working so what i'm going to do now is uh um basically clean this up get everything mounted uh with some screws or some bolts or something and then uh check back in with you uh another point i wanted to uh to highlight so originally this truck it was basically when you hit the gas pedal, it was an on switch and it it just took off. Um, so I don't know if you could see that little screw. I'm not gonna pull it apart right now, but that little screw in the middle of the gas pedal, I actually took a uh, an old 18 volt drill um, trigger. Basically it's a, a variable speed uh, trigger, right? So when you, if you just barely pull the trigger, it just barely allows any, uh, any voltage through. Um, or it, it barely spins the motors. So there's actually a trigger, a screw, a drill gun trigger underneath that, that gas pedal now. So um, you, you probably noticed when I barely pushed the, the gas pedal, um, it, it barely spins. So that's, that's what's controlling that is a, um, under the gas pedal. But uh, everything seems to be working. Real quick uh, on here, this little speed controller, um, you know, I had to turn it on. So it was, there's a little switch here to turn that on. And there's a real little red light inside. Um, and real quick on this voltage cutoff. Uh, so I had to, it didn't come with any instructions. Um, so I had to look it up on online. I think the, uh, I got it off of uh, Amazon or something, but I think the, uh, uh, it had instructions on the, the site that I bought it from. So uh, what you do is there's two buttons here. There's a plus and a minus. So if you hit that plus button, it actually shows the cutoff voltage. Um, so we'll go back to there and we'll hold that down until it starts flashing. And then you use the minus and positive um, buttons here to set the cutoff voltage. Um, and then if you let it just sit there, it goes back. So this is the voltage in the battery right now. Um, this other button, uh, the, the negative button, when you press it, it shows 2.0. Um, so this button is the um, uh, difference value, and I think you can set that as well. Um, yeah, so if you hold that down, then you can go up or down. So I'm just going to leave it at... Um, a two, maybe maybe I'll set it up to two, two and a half. Um, so I think what this is 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 basically, um, you know, so it'll cut off at 15 volts, 
and then uh, the difference, um, which is two and a half, so 15 plus two and a half is, it won't come back on until 17 um, and a half volts are, are reading here. So um, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I need to look up to see um, exactly what those should be. I think when I looked before, you know, like a normal 20 volt um, lithium battery like this has, uh, you know, five cells that are three volts. They can go down to as low as three volts each. Um, and so that's 15 volts. Like, you know, you can safely just charge them to three volts. Um, and then when they're up, it's a 3.7 volt cell, but you can overcharge them a little bit. So you can actually get them up to four volts, which gives you the 20 volts four times five. So anyways, I got it set at 15 and, and two and a half. I may change that later. Um, I, I don't know what it should be, but I just from what I've read, that's uh, some, some good numbers. So uh, anyways, I'll, I'm going to mount everything and then I'll uh, check back in. All right, so I'm getting ready to mount the um, uh, the adapter for the battery. So I had to take this apart um, in order to put some holes in the back side. And what I'm doing, I put two holes here. This is pretty tricky to get to because this car is really, really tight here. Um, anyways, so I got some holes here, holes there. And then I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna reach around on the inside and, and put this metal backing plate. Um, I probably won't do it for, for all the components, but definitely for this, um, because the battery's, uh, you know, a little bit heavier. So hopefully that'll help hold it. Anyways, I just wanna show that, um, this is probably gonna be the, the, the most complicated one to, to put on again, because I'm reaching around the back and putting in a backing plate. Um, I'm just gonna use these screws here. They're kind of a self-tapping screw. I've got a bunch of these. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna use for most of this stuff is just screws. Um, anyways, just wanna show that real quick. All right, so we finally finished up. Um, go ahead and power that on and uh, put the gas pedal here. Um, so you can see that's working good. Uh, so, so under the hood here, uh, let me just do a quick shot. Uh, that's the final setup. So I had to move a few of these components around uh, to get them to fit and get the wires routed where I wanted them. And um, that, that took a little bit of time, but uh, anyways, we got it figured out. So right now I've got a small DeWalt battery in there, like a two amp hour. Um, if I were to run this, I'd probably use a bigger, the five, I've got a five amp hour or, or even a bigger one would, would probably be good. And there's plenty of room right here to get that to fit in. Uh, so a few points, just want a few things I want to point out. Um, this, uh, this little low voltage board, it's got some, some uh, delicate components on it. So I put this little cover, it's a piece of plexiglass that I heated up and kind of bent around. Um, so it goes underneath and then around, basically just to protect those little components. Um, something else that was uh, kind of gave me a little bit of trouble in the beginning. Uh, these are like ferrule connectors, I think, um, that go in here. So I didn't have any of those uh, and I couldn't find anything locally. So I ended up just uh, just trimming the wire and uh, sticking the, the wire, you know, twisting those up and sticking that in. Uh, so that works fine. I put a little color code on this to, to let you know whether it's, you know, off, slow, or, you know, in the middle or fast. Um, just because just it was hard to tell without those. Uh, so let's go over here. So here is the wiring diagram. I'll try to get a good shot of that um, for all those components. So I drew that up just to try to make it a little easier if anybody wants to try to follow that. Um, and yeah, here's just some various tools that I used. Uh, these these uh, wire strippers are are really really good. This type that that hold the wire and actually pull the um, the casing off of it. Uh, this type will work too, but these are just a lot easier. Uh, so a few things I used a little bit of electrical tape. Some of these uh, spade type connectors will come in handy. One thing I did find is if you have a uh, you know, if, if you don't have the right size spade connector, so this is for a smaller wire, right? Like a, maybe a 14 or 16 gauge wire. And then the yellow ones are for like a 10 and 12. Just get the right connectors. It makes things so much easier. Um, you're not fighting with them. But uh, um, the other thing that I had to make 
where these uh, this kind of fork connector. So I made those out of a, out of a lug connector and just cut the middle out. Um, and that was for the terminal block here and then for uh, some of the lugs there. Um, anyways, not a terrible job, just uh, some configuring and, and trying to work things out there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.